right, hello and welcome back. This is the last sort of chunk of videos uh, in the R for Economist series. Uh, in these last couple of videos, we're going to be looking at uh, a very useful package ggplot2, which is a part of the tidyverse. Uh, now, there are a lot of different statistics packages out there, and every one of them has their own, you know, crusaders and people who really like them. But pretty much everyone agrees that uh, uh, really one of the things that R does better than pretty much everybody else is graphics. And one of the reasons for that is this ggplot2 graphics. It's just very uh, straightforward and easy to make some really fantastic looking uh, images. And so we're going to be covering some of the basics of ggplot2. But before we even get started, I'm going to tell you there's only so much of this I'm going to be able to cover. There's literally an entire book written on just using this command. Uh, and so I'm going to have a link in the description uh, that will take you to the documentation for this. And so all of the different options that you can imagine, all the different uh, extras and bits and bobs and different little things that you can do in ggplot2, you're going to be able to find in there. In these videos, I'm going to focus on the things that I tend to use the most often, and I think that you'll find the most useful uh, as an economics student. Uh, and so let's go ahead and get started. Now, what we're going to do in this particular exact video uh, is talk about just sort of the way that ggplot2 is set up and how you can use uh, the ggplot command in general. Now, gg stands for grammar of graphics, and ggplot2 is a way of uh, basically describing all sorts of graphics using a shared language that makes it a little bit easier to transition between different kinds of graphs that you might need to make, things like that. Uh, and in uh, every ggplot command, uh, there are three things that you need to have in order for it to work. Uh, and so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to set up a ggplot command, uh, and we'll see what sorts of things we need to put in there. So first thing I'm going to happen, I'm going to load in the tidyverse as we need. That's where ggplot2 is going to come from. Uh, I'm going to load in Haven, uh, and I'm going to bring in this crime data that we've worked with before, which has uh, crime data and some other variables by county by year. All right. So we're going to just build a basic ggplot command. And now I've been talking about this as ggplot2. That's the name of the package. The actual command itself is just ggplot, okay? So we're going to build a scatter plot, all right? Just a basic scatter plot. Uh, and so we're going to do the ggplot command. Now, just like with every other tidyverse uh, function, the first thing we're going to put in there is the first thing that we need in our ggplot function, uh, which is the data. So we're going to put in the data. We're going to put in our crime data. Now, of course, you know, if you've been following along, you'll know if I want to say, you know, just do a subset of that, I can use dplyr uh, to put just a subset of the data in there, uh, use filter or something like that. Everything I want, I just need to put the data set that I want to use in that first thing. Now, the second thing that we're going to need after the data is the aesthetic, okay, AES for aesthetic. Now, what the aesthetic is, is it's basically outlining uh, what it is that we are graphing, sort of what the bounds of our graph are. And now there are some things that I'm going to leave out about this, but the basic idea is that right here we're defining what is on our x-axis and what's on our y-axis, if anything, right? And so in the aesthetic function, uh, we are going to say, let's say we're going to plot uh, uh, the um, crime rate against the, the police presence, right? The, per, the police per capita. And so we want to have our police per capita on the x-axis. I'm going to say that my x is police per capita, okay? Uh, and I'm going to say that my y-axis is going to be the crime rate. All right, so that's all that the aesthetic part is function is doing. That's one of the things that we need in the ggplot. We need our data, we need our aesthetic, and finally, we need our geometry. Now, what the geometry is, is that's what is actually going to get drawn onto the graph, okay? Because if we just do this right here, uh, we should get a just a blank graph right there uh, with our police presence on the x-axis, our crime rate on the y-axis, but of course we haven't actually drawn anything onto the graph itself, okay? Uh, so we need to add on our geometry, we need to tell it what are you actually drawing. Uh, and what we're going to have it draw is, I'm going I'm, I'm to say geom underscore point. Now, I mean, in the next video we're going to get into what exactly that means, but that's just one of the geometries we can do. That's the geometry we're going to put if we want it to draw a scatter plot. So what this is saying is start a ggplot command, okay, use the crime data, uh, use an aesthetic where on the x-axis we have the police uh, per capita and on the y-axis we have the crime rate. And then uh, now that we've drawn this nice sort of, pa this sort of canvas for us to paint on, we're going to put a geometry on there and that particular geometry we're going to do is the point geometry. We're going to just put some points on. 
so if we do that, you can see that it's going to give us a nice scatter plot. It looks a little bit nicer than the, the base R scatter plot. It's also going to prove to be a whole lot more flexible. So that's the basics of it, right? So in a ggplot2 command or in a ggplot command, we need, first of all, our data. Uh, second of all, we need our aesthetic. And third of all, we need our geometry. We put all those things together uh, and we will have ourselves a ggplot command. That's the basics of it. Uh, so you can sort of see it at the bare bones. In the next video, we'll get into some of the more details of what exactly you can do with that. All right, that's it. Uh, come on in back for the next video and we'll talk some more about what we can do with ggplot. Thank you.